I like to take my really good paper for this project because it ends up being so nice. Um, this is a higher grain paper. I always start my moons. I start one large one, kind of slightly uh, come on its eye, on its side. You'll see I use one of the earlier techniques, the puddle techniques. This is fun now because you can add you know, your learnings into your painting process now. You can use the techniques that you've learned. Uh, I'm a big fan of using the Dopplers as well for the watercolor inks. Um, I have limited myself for my first moon painting to just use the color green. It's really fascinating to me that within the green hue, there's so many possibilities, so many colors. Some of the green kind of lead towards a bit more blue. Some of the greens more uh, towards yellow. Some of the greens more towards brown. And there's so many possibilities. And within that, I find when I limit myself, let's say to use just green, I find almost a creative freedom, which... Um, it's almost like you're limiting yourself and then in that there's just so much more flow and ideas coming through. So um, this is really fun to experiment. I would recommend you only using one color for your first moon painting. Now, once it's dry, I've taken another moon painting that was dry actually to show you uh, guys that straight away. So I use my Sharpies on top technique. Um, I'm actually kind of <laughs> cheating a little I'm actually this is an oil paint um they're really cheap you get them at Costco they are called uh gel writers so they're not oil excuse me they're gel paints and I love them these ones you can't really see in the video there but they're super shimmery they're kind of sparkly um they're really detailed too um they're I mean they're not like professional paints but it still comes out really great um so there again, I am with one of those pencil. Um, I'm really glad of this bought by. It lasted me a long time. So now I'm here with just my regular kind of Sharpies. Um, I like to kind of define my moons, see what comes out of me. I like to work with any symbol that comes out of me. Um, again, you could use your marks, and, your marks and doodles where we kind of repeat it squares triangles I love, etc. And uh, have fun with this. It's still super brave, intuitive painting. You let the paint kind of do its own thing. It's this technique was totally inspired again by Matty Rose and Faith Heavens, who um, they call it differently, but I was really inspired. Um, they look like moons to me.